Welcome to The Crag. On today's episode, we're at a less known area known as the Vevey Scully. To get to The Crag, we suggest driving, as public transport here is limited. However, you can hitchhike or cycle. We don't recommend this due to the dangerous roads past the Senegrad. To get to The Crag, the nearest big city is Plovdiv, located 41 kilometers away. When you drive from Plovdiv, you're going to drive through the town of Senegrad and you're going to go towards the village of Yugovo. At the cutoff to Luki, you're going to take a left turn and you're going to look for a water fountain. When you see the third water fountain, you will be at the parking for the crag. This is the parking for the first approach to the crag. This approach walks past the water fountain and it's clearly signposted. Follow the signs and you'll make your way to the crag. One thing to watch out for is later on it gets quite steep and the footing's quite loose. There's another approach. If you go past the third water fountain and you head up left along the road 150 meters, you'll see a narrow left turn. If you park there, go across the road, you'll see a steep incline. The trees are signposted with white paint. Follow this path. This path is longer and the beginning is steeper. However, you avoid contaminating the water source and this will take you to the crag also. When you come here, we recommend that you have to take a helmet, a minimum of 15 quick draws, at least a 60 meter rope so you can climb all the routes, including the longer ones. And if you are doing molly pitch, make sure to take spare slings and carabiners. One of the most important things about Suvi is the crag. You can climb it almost all year round. The crag is north facing and it has its own microclimate, meaning you can climb it in spring, summer and autumn. All the routes here are signposted and they have the name at the bottom of the pitch. You can go into Climbing Guide BG and you can take these names and you can figure out the grade. This crag has a total of 21 single pitch routes and three multi-pitch routes. The grades go from 5B to 7B, making this place ideal for beginner and intermediate climbers. There's no food nearby here, so the nearest shop you have is in Yugovo and a Senegrad. One thing to watch out for is the shop in Yugovo hasn't got much supplies. If you want to treat yourself at the cutoff towards Lucky, there's a restaurant as well. But we do recommend you bring your own food here. As you've seen with the walk-in, you have a water tap directly at the base. This is perfect for fresh water. Near here, there's no toilets. So please, when you do relieve yourself, make sure you stay away from this water source. We've met up with some local climbers, Demetria and Vanessa. I'm going to ask them a few questions. So what's your favourite climb at the crowd? Uh, well, we have several routes that are really interesting. I personally love because I like multi pitches, the large one, which is Suavea. And there's another one, which is Silibriac, which is a really, really nice climb. You can you can either do just one pitch of it or both pitches. They're really good, but mostly all the, all the routes here are very, mm -hmm. very nice. Hey, would you have any tips or tricks for this crag at all? Um, I think that if you're a climber that loves like small and slab climbing, this is the perfect place to be because it, it's a lot of like slabs but with some jogs around. There is not almost no uh, overhanging um, routes here, so it's very approachable for begin for any kind of climbers, especially beginners. And yeah, the approach is uh, super easy, and you can be here with, I don't know, people that doesn't climb because you can sit here and put a hammock or stuff like that. Is there anywhere nearby to stay at all? Uh, well, we, we have a guest house. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> we, li we live in a village close to here, 50 minutes away in Kosovo village. We have a small guest house. But uh, it's really, really, if the, the weather is nice, you can put up a hammock or even, even sleep in, in, in the camper if you, if you park downside. Mm -hmm. So basically, yeah, you have all these options. Hey, what's your guest house called? Uh, Kosovo Houses <laughs> in Selo, Kosovo. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, it's a, thank you very much for your time and speaking with us today and I hope you enjoy your climbing. Thank you very much. This crag was bolted in memory of Zvera Stoicheva and one of her close friends is going to explain more. Slavia Stoicheva was our friend, a biologist who studied in the Prilipi. She went there in 2015, and in 2016 we started working on this object. For me, it was a real symbol that at one point, the top of the top of the top of the top, when we still asked if the place was still there, because, unfortunately, looking at the top of the top, on the top of the top of the top, I saw the top of the top, с форма на прилеп, огромен силует на прилеп, може би 50 на 100 метра. Това си беше наистина знак. 
след като продължихме да работим, видяхме, че всъщност цялата скала е обраса с силивряк. Това е цвете, което траките се смятали за безсмъртно. И всъщност трети знак не ни трябваше. В създаването на този обект моята роля е съвсем мъничка в началото. Аз просто дадох идеята и дадах лек първоначален тласък. Останалото го свършиха момчетата от катерашния клуб в Пловдив. Основно Симо и Митко, на които безкрайно благодаря, защото без тях нямаше да е възможно това да се случи. Ако искате да изпълнете тази тази, има много да се изпълнете на нерабай. Крагсвейска ли е в Редоки Мountains, което е възможно с историята и мистицизъм. Places we would recommend checking out are Kurjov Kamek, Hadut Kaya, and Belintash. For more information and the historical significance of these places, check the links in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy this content, remember to like and subscribe. And a special thank to our partners, LP Outsider and Magazine 360. Stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one. Try to on-site this route the other day, got about 20 meters up and just completely froze at the crux. So we've come back on top rope and uh, got to the top, but it's pretty terrifying. So this is my project. I'm definitely coming back to Bulgaria next year, just for this one route. It's my nemesis.